Hi right, guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to talk about some new changes when it comes to the new Bluehost platform. So in the past, when you actually create a new Bluehost account, there's no need for you to create this thing called a six digit PIN. However, with this six digit PIN, it actually makes things much more convenient for us as users because Previously, when we need to contact support in Bluehost, they will usually send us a token to our email address. We have to go back again to the email inbox to retrieve the validation token. But however, at this point in time, all you need to do is to give them this six digit security pin. And straight away, they will be able to answer all the questions that you need. So that is the very first change. And now we're going to hop on to my screen to check out two new changes. So over here, you can see this is the new Bluehost interface. Now, in the past, there used to be have a lot of menu bars over here. But however, with these new changes, there are some um, important things you need to take note of. First and foremost, when you register a new Bluehost account, go over to WordPress hosting and make sure that when you click on WordPress hosting, you can see these three quick links. Okay, these three quick links over here. If you don't see any quick links over here, please contact support via their chat function. All right, um, let me move my screen over here. You can contact support via this chat function over here. All right. And straight away, tell them that you just created a new account and you need to access to your DNS records as well as your email server. All right. So in the past, again, you just have to go to advanced and straight away, you can create a new email address from there. However, with the new interface, under the quick links, you have to go to server email. All right. So automatically, they have selected email accounts for you. Click on continue. And you go back to the same old familiar interface over here. Same thing over here. You just have to click on the create button. You can straight away create a new email address of your choice. The second change that you will see within the new Bluehost interface is if you go back over here. Now, when you need, when you need to do some changes to the DNS records, go over to domain name over here on the left. All right. So when you scroll down, you will see these advanced tools. So click down. And advanced DNS record, click on manage. So don't have to show this again because you know what you're going to do here. Now, again, in the old interface, you will see a lot of things like the CNAME records, the TXT record, the SRV records, so and so forth. But however, with the new interface, you don't see all these things anymore. All right. So in case you need to add a new record, just click on add record. And over here, you can choose which is the record that you wish to add. Is it the CNAME record, TXT record, so and so forth. All right, guys, so these are the three main changes when it comes to setting up a new Bluehost account. So I hope this has been helpful for you for all the new Bluehost user interface, and I will see you again in the next recording.